What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. DJ Academics is a hip hop commentator that was a guy that really was at the beginning of that sort of mechanism here on YouTube. He was reporting news and hip hop. Um, you know, he's very entertaining, charismatic guy. I mean, he was a trendsetter in that. He made himself a lot of money. He was one of the first dudes to do it. Covered the war in Chirac. That was a classic series. I mean, you know, and he also put a lot of guys on into the industry. The problem with DJ Academics is he's very reckless. Always has been reckless. He drinks like every day. He makes a lot of bad decisions. And he, and he can't stop running his mouth about the problems that he has. And then he also gets into unnecessary beefs that if he would have just ignored certain things, he probably wouldn't be where he is right now, okay? Now, one of those beefs came from Tony the Closer. Now, remember there was a situation with DJ Envy and Cesar Pena, a real estate scam that they both were involved in, allegedly. Cesar Pena actually got arrested, okay? And Tony the Closer, it's also into real estate. He sells real estate courses and things like that, right? I was an online entrepreneur. So Tony, the closer, made the term hashtag real estate Rico. DJ Academics, who met Tony, the closer before, I uh, was talking about how he was going to do a show on the real estate Rico. Now, at this point, Tony, the closer, uh, you know, he got on Twitter saying some things to, to academics like you know how are you going to weigh in on something that you don't know so now again i wouldn't have done that per se all right now tony close is a different brother to me but you know i probably wouldn't have done that you know and called him kind of goofy and things like that that would be me personally but still that does not in my opinion justify how academics handled it academics went on to say this topic about Tony the Closer and Caesar. Yo, Tony the Closer, if you're here watching me, I want to give you a single message. I've met you in person. You're a cool dude. But I also want you to know that just here's... Give me a second. Let me send this message to Tony the Closer. Because I seen you mention some, like, like you're kind of acting weird with me. Okay? I'm going to tell you why you're acting weird with me. Okay? Tony, the closer. I'm going to tell you why I think you're acting weird with me. I met you. I think you're a good person. I, I put you. But I've seen some comments about you, and it seems clout chasey. Okay? Now, I'm going to tell you why. Like, I'm going to tell you what I took from those comments, and I'm going to tell you why I don't do it. Okay? So, let me go to where you actually mentioned me at. So the last stream where I said that I was breaking on the real estate Rico, by the way, I cover all rap hip hop news. I don't need an, I don't need a help to cover rap hip hop news. I don't need an interpreter to cover rap hip hop news. Tony, the closer. I don't need you to cover rap hip hop news. My name is academics. If you never knew, I've been here before you even thought about playing football. Let me give you the facts. Okay, now I understand you feel like you are one of the people who are been in the fore foreground of exposing DJ Envy or whatever the case is. That is not my concern. I am not on a pro expose DJ Envy or nobody's campaign. Maybe you are, but I am not. Okay, now when I've seen a few messages and I've seen this about four or five times, so I got to address you. When you so I say I'm breaking down the uh, real estate Rico. I get it. That's your term. Cool. We give you credit. You're the best. You made up this term. I thought it was Rick Ross, but you got it. It's cool. Now, what you're starting to do, which I don't like, and I'm going to call it out now. Tony the Closer. Academics don't need you. Academics don't need envy. Academics don't need a mother so. So let me be very clear with you, and let me be very clear with anybody who's in this shit. You're promoting shit, too. The reason why you ain't on my, 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 my live stream yet, because... I don't want a mother up to promote nothing with real estate to my audience. Y'all are all scammers. 
DJ Envy, you, Caesar, all of y'all. I don't want none of y'all promoting shit to my audience. So let's be clear with that. So if you just want to expose DJ Envy, you could do your thing. But don't come on my shit because I'm not going to give none of y'all platforms to promote what y'all got going on. Y'all are all scammers in my book. All scammers. Go do real estate on your own. You, DJ Envy, Caesar, all y'all. Y'all ain't going to get on my platform and be like, oh, okay, Envy's a scammer, but I'm the good guy. Out of here. You promote real estate shit too. Focus on your real estate shit. You ain't about to get on my platform and do it at all. Okay? So when I'm breaking it down, I don't give a f what you said about Envy. Because I'll sit here and say whatever you're saying on real estate, I'll tell my audience, don't buy it. So he started calling the guy a scammer. He started calling the guy all sorts of things. Now, at this point, I can't even play Tony DeClose's response. I mean, it was it was colorful, to say the least. The brother was really dragging academics. Um, it even got so bad, he got his ex-girlfriend that he's taking pictures with right now to do an interview talking about academics. He even talked about how he was going to have sex with academics' mom. It was brutal. It was brutal. It was brutal, and it was petty. Tony the Closer is one of those guys that doesn't forget anything. Like again, he's one of those dudes where, you know, if you 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 play with him, or if you or if you uh, offend him, like he's your enemy for life, okay, for life. Now, here's what we know about academics. What is that going on right now with those charges? Here's the audio that academics put out. Tony the Closer is just reposting it. Let's listen to it. And to keep it real, if you think about it in the bigger scheme of things, there's not much difference between a 20 or a 17 or a 21 and a 17. Just kind of mean one's a minor and one's not a minor. But I will say, listen, I adopted this rule, which I think it was fine. I said, listen, man, as long as a chick got a college ID, she's getting fucked. I don't care if she's 17. I don't care if she's 17 and a half. I don't care if she just turned 17. She's going to get this. Dick. Now, not only is he doing that. He's also releasing other receipts from the girl who said that, you know, academics graped her. But again, I mean, this is just what happens when you have enemies, right? And let me just say this, academics, the way that Tony responded to him, let me just say that. It, it seems that Tony the Closer may have wanted to join academics live stream to explain what's going on. Again, academics did meet him. Um, if he wanted to do that, that's a, you know, I'm not sure. I don't, I have never talked to Tony the Closer. Uh, I wouldn't have went at it like Tony went at academics, but it could have been a bait and switch. I don't know, right? Maybe Tony the Closer never liked him. But just because Tony the Closer responded to him in that way, it's something he should have just ignored. Because look at what's happening now. Like Tony the Closer, like Tony the Closer has proven some things about academics that's very interesting. That number one, the girl that you're taking a picture with right now for your birthday, he had her at the house or in the same room doing the live stream, talking about you and your mom. Then here's all of this information that you have said in the past that doesn't really sound good. It doesn't sound good at all. It, it, it is not good. And all would, all that could have been solved by just ignoring the guy. If you felt that he said something to you or called you lame or whatever, okay, well, damn, Tony, you know, you, know, you call me, I'm a, I'm a lame dude or whatever. I don't know the story. Okay, fine. All right. Then if I know the guy, I would call the guy. Me personally, like, yo, man, what's going on with this? Yo, man, you hit me on Twitter. You know, that was kind of rude, bro. That's something that could have been resolved. You know, that would have gave Tony the opportunity to explain himself or uh, maybe clear it up in some way. And that, that could have been cool. That would have been, he could have deleted the tweet and all that would have been all right, cool. But now you went out there, you called the guy a scammer. Um, you know, you called the guy all of this and all of that. He got all these text messages out from, you know, your ex-girl. He, he was, you know, able to show how easy it was to get to her. It just doesn't look good for the guy. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, man. It doesn't, you know, money is supposed to help you change your situation. 
it's not supposed to make you get in a worse situation because you never elevated your game at certain levels. Like, damn, we know academics got money, but God damn, these L's is just, they adding up, bro. So guys, what do you think it should boil Shady Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Jump. Appreciate you for all you just heard the bell. 